My name is Dante Woods Spikes. I live in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm currently employed by Columbus City Schools. So I work with children, but on the side, I also do video, photography, and speaking engagements. Well, what I would like people to know about my work process is that it's very intimate. The things that I record, it's like family time for me. It's not just recording something and going home and just editing it. Um, like my upcoming documentary title, As a Matter of Black, is documenting the process of the protest and the injustices and how Columbus was impacted by the protest as well. It was a global response to injustices. And in Columbus, what I did was document what happened here. Um, of course, we've always seen the pain and the anger and frustration that black people share when injustices take place against us. But what I decided to record was what's going on behind the scenes of that. Everyone shows you the part where people are upset. Everyone shows you when the news reports something that they agree with or they disagree with. Everybody shows you the, the mothers that are crying. What I did was document some of the stories that have been taking place way before anything happened right now. And also, what do people do to heal when these things happen? We never show that part. We never show the part where people are trying to heal and coming together as a family unit and connecting with each other and loving on each other and giving each other hope because we really don't have to wait until something bad happens to love on each other and support each other. And I feel like sometimes as artists or anyone that documents times like this, we forget to implement that. So I tried to be very intentional about implementing the part that's good, the part that's healing, and the part that gives us something to look forward to because I feel as artists or activists or whatever it may be, sometimes we forget to put hope in there. We forget to document the good parts that could inspire someone to do what we're doing. Not only give people the painful part, when you only give the painful part, that creates a world full of chaos and hurt and fear and people may respond to it, but it doesn't feel good when they respond because they put so much energy into it. So it's almost like a trauma response sometimes. And it's painful enough to document things and see people hurting. So I try to give people something that they can look forward to. And that's simply just loving on each other and recognizing that outside of the pain that we experience, all of us are still family. We still family. We, we gotta care about each other. We gotta look out for the kids. We gotta wake up and go to work tomorrow and pay our bills. And sometimes we just gotta step in and support somebody for one day, just for one day. And that might look like in a documentary, the art that the artists are doing. That might look like the little girl that stood in front of the painting downtown holding her little brother up. It could be some of the simplest things, but as artists, I think it's important to make sure that we capture that, we document it, and we put it out there for people to see. A um, hundred years from now, if someone walked past my video or went to a theater or even watched this video, I would want them to see the genuine nature inside of my documentation, the rawness of it. And also just knowing that I'm a part of it. I'm not above it, I'm not below it. I'm not just doing it to capture a story. Like I said, this is, it's like cutting the camera on 
around my family. Some of the most precious moments I could think of. And I don't want to exploit anybody that comes from my family. I don't want them to feel like their, their stories and moments are being broadcasted just for my game. I want it to be a stepping stone for others to share stories and feel like we're all being included into this conversation where we could take some type of time to heal together. And the same way a hundred years ago things are happening right now, they may be happening another hundred years later. So I'm hoping that the same way we look at people like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, the Black Panthers, Marcus Garvey, any of those names that you can bring up and say they made an impact back then, I would love to be a part of that as time goes on, even if I'm not alive to see it. I just know how much their names and what they sacrifice to get us where we are right now has changed the world. And I'm just hoping that if I get recognized a hundred years later, people can write about me or do reports about me saying that man really loved what he did and he loved the people that he documented.